In some uh, breaking news that's coming in, this is uh, in the Zakir Nayak case. UAPA tribunal has summoned uh, Zakir Nayak after rejecting uh, Nayak's uh, vakalya, uh, vakala, vakalat nama. Uh, in fact, he has now been summoned uh, physically and a deadline has also been set uh, for this uh, as well. Uh, those are the details here coming in. Uh, so essentially the U UAPA tribunal ha uh, proceedings on Zakir Nayak, uh, these are the latest details that we are getting you. Bhavtosh joining us uh, for more on this. Bhavtosh, if you can uh, take us through these latest developments. All right, we're just going to try and uh, reconnect with Bhavtosh uh, to get some more details here. But uh, this is uh, the latest that's coming in. Uh, in fact, the tribunal has said, and I'm quoting here, if Zakir Nayak wishes to appear through a lawyer, he is bound to file uh, Vakalat Nama in proper format with the proper authentication or let him remain physically present. Uh, Bhavtosh is back with us. Uh, Bhavtosh, if you can take us through these details. Uh, as I was telling you, uh, Zakir Naik is a trustee uh, or the main trustee as far as uh, Islamic, uh, uh, Islamic Research Foundation is concerned. And IEA as well as Enforcement Directorate has been probing not only Zakir Naik but also Islamic Res uh, Research Foundation. Now, uh, there have been several cases that have been filed against uh, Zakir Naik. And uh, the government uh, last November had again banned the uh, Islamic Research Foundation for another five years. Now, Islamic Research Foundation ban uh, hearing was being held uh, under a UAPA tribunal, and uh, there was a vakalat nama that was filed by Zakir Naik. Uh, that vakalat nama, in fact, was challenged by Solicitor General Tushar Mehta on the grounds that uh, this is not accepted under various uh, uh, rules and uh, orders of the Supreme Court. Uh, the tribunal observed that uh, because it has not been authenticated by uh, Indian Embassy at Kuala Lumpur, uh, he, it should be uh, authenticated by Zakir Naik and uh, he should be physically present uh, before the embassy. Now, his lawyer claimed that it cannot be possible that he should uh, that he ca uh, can be present before Indian Embassy. At the same time, the tribunal now has said that uh, either he remains present before Indian uh, Embassy whenever the hearing takes place, the next hearing is expected to take place on 20th of February, or that he should go to the in Indian Embassy and submit himself before the Indian Embassy. Basically, what it means is that uh, Indian authorities want to uh, uh, corner uh, Malaysian government because uh, Malaysia has completely refused to deport uh, uh, Zakir Naik, as well as the fact that Interpol, despite uh, repeat, uh, repeated requests from uh, India, has not issued any red corner notice against him. Uh, as far as the case is concerned, uh, there have been several charge sheets that have been filed by NIA as well as uh, uh, Inf Enforcement Directorate. And India now wants to make sure that Malaysia deports uh, 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 Zakir Naik, and uh, they want to be uh, want to make sure that Malaysia at least admits that Zakir Naik is on the soil of Malaysia. All right, uh, Bhavtosh, thank you so much uh, for getting us those details.